Got the Dusky 278 XFY, looking at a twin 200 for 170,000 or twin 250s for 178. This one right here, as shown, we've got twin 250 Suzuki four strokes. And anybody that knows me knows that I love a Dusky for the price. This is a 28 foot, basically, boat. You've got the back here with a bench. You've got the leaning post here with um, what's in here. You've got a nice live well down in there. And then console, very plain Jane, but these things are a phenomenal ride for the price, direct from the factory to the consumer. One GPS got a SIM right here, rocker switches over here on the dash to control everything. Suzuki gauges, Xfinity radio, um, nice clean chrome Suzuki handles, but the back of the boat, very, very open, very, very ready for doing fishing, coming up into the front, all kind of green colors and stuff. Looking inside the console here, got your head down in there. There's your amplifier. We got a sink over here to the right. All, everything is accessible, super easy to maintain and control. Charging system right there. Again, your head, go ahead and close this. And over here in the bow, we've got seating all the way around, table in the middle, backrest right there, seat right here. As you'll notice, it is a very, very plain boat in the bow. You see how big this flare is, very, very pretty. There's not a lot to a Dusky, but a Dusky is super dry and a super phenomenal riding boat. So that's why I'm a big fan because for the price, it is less on the frills and more on the fisher or the consumer if you own the boat. Then here is the 278 Dusky XFT. 153 with the twin 250s and 145,000 for twin 200s. This one we've got twin 250 Suzuki four strokes, big huge bracket on the back platform so you can get out, pull your fish up in there. Coming into the boat, we've got a live well here in the leaning post. Lots of lots of access to that. And then in the back, you've got pretty much nothing. It's just ready for you to go out and fish. Got a seat back here got a box down in here so there's your fish box going up the gunnels lots of room in between the console look how much room you got in between the console and the gunnel console very plain simrad your radio controller got a gps rocker switches for controlling everything and then normal controls for the suzuki T-top with canvas, looking down here, going into the front. If you look at the flare and look at the bow, it's just super open, super wide. Put as many rod holders in it as you want. This one's got a Rodan. Looks like a, I don't know, maybe an 84, not 100% not on that. Maybe a little bit shorter than that. Got a coffin box right here in the middle. So another spot to put the fish, which another thing to sit on, but it's just really open, really clean, um, but it's a lot cheaper. You know, you're saving $100,000 compared to a similar boat, and that's why I like a Dusky, because they do ride so well. They are a very dry boat. Looking in here, comes with a vacuum. If you buy this boat, you can get this vacuum. Um, just ask the person that's selling you the boat. All the, all the wiring, everything, super accessible, really clean, really open, easy to work on, easy to maintain, so... I think it's really a DIY friendly type of boat for somebody. And this is the 33 XF Dusky. Looks like we're at 324,000 or 361 with triple 200s or with I guess twin 350s. Look how thick the hull is here. I mean, it's just super, super thick. This is where they cut out for the transducers. Looking here, we've got twin 354 strokes on the back of this one. I love the color. It's got a really, really nice blue. Look at the steps in the bottom of the hull. I mean, thing is phenomenal. But if you look at the gunnels on this thing, they're super high, super flared. And looking up at it, it just, it's really nice. Rub rail, they've got that like top to it. It's like kind of tall, but that is what makes them ride so dry. 
looking in this, I've actually not been in the 33, so this is interesting for me. I like the back, got a bench seat all the way across the back, looking like, what's our kill box looking like? Looking really wide, lots of space in there for the fish box. On the back here, we've got the live well on the transom. I do like that. Seating right here in the leaning post. Does this open up? Yep, so you've got a nice cooler built into the leaning post. That's really nice. Speakers on the side. See the flare. So look at the, the way the gunnel rises up like that. I just love the dusk. It's super plain and it's just simple. Here's our gauges. We've got rocker switches for the controls. Sim rad ready. Going to the front. Got backrests that flip out. This is like super common on all these boats now. See now this one has seating all through the front. That is, looks like, you know, that's what people want. So that's what they're going to give them. We've got a nice table that comes out around here. There's going to be a lot of storage in underneath those. Table's going to be, go in and out. Seat right here. I, usually there's nothing in here. Well, looks like there is. So got another box in here, storage. You can see how it's not like super finished, but that's kind of what keeps the uh, price down on them. But you're paying for the ride on these boats. Now, I like the cushion colors, the white and that blue. Looks really, really nice. Real big fan of that. And in here in the console, got your amp, got your head, got your sink, all laid out nice. And again, everything is accessible, super open, super easy to diagnose, easy to maintain. And that is one of the reasons why I am such a big Dusky fan. Now we're looking at the 252 XF Dusky, 111 with the 300 or 122 with twin 200s. So this got the single 300. I would probably rather have the twin 200s, but um, I like this seafoam green type color. It's a real nice color to it going up into the boat. Got that normal Dusky flare to it, which I'm a huge fan of that. And then this one, actually, we've got a lot of seating around here, which is interesting. I like it. Lots of storage up there going around here to the back. Again, super open, lots of room to get around in here. You've got a seat back here. A lot of people don't really want to see it. They put a cooler back here. You sit on the cooler. So that way you've got all that fishing room. We've got the live well built into the leaning post. And then we've got more storage up in here. So lift this up. you got all kinds of stuff for tackle and everything in there. Console, very plain, normal. We've got our rocker switches on the on the dash. That is a interesting sim right. I've not seen, look how like wide it is. Very interesting. And then up in here, just some storage. Got a VHF in there. Single Suzuki controller, T-top console with just a uh, just a T-top canvas. Coming around here in the front. We've got the seating all the way around the bow. Again, that's lime green with the white. I like the color. Looks really, really nice. Normal dusky flare, big, fat, wide gunnels around the top of the bow. But I mean, that's, that's the dusky style and I big fan of it. Leaning post here, center console. I mean, seat up in the front, just a really plain boat. So if you're looking for a center console just to go offshore fishing, and you don't want a bunch of frills, a bunch of stuff that can go wrong, I would definitely, definitely suggest looking into a Dusky because they're very plain, dry, good riding boats.